Hi, it's Katrina. From foxes shooting off guns to cockatoos catching attackers, here are 10 times that animals got revenge on humans. This video was done in collaboration with World 5 List. Stay tuned for more details. Number 10. Lions Attack A man suspected of hunting rhinos or lions was found torn to pieces in South Africa at a private game park outside Kruger National Park. Authorities at the park found his eaten remains next to a hunting rifle and ammunition, which means he was probably up to no good. It's believed he was there for poaching, but this is not the first time animals have taken revenge on poachers. They have been trampled by elephants and struck by rhinos the exact animals that they are trying to get their hands on. Just wait for number one. Number nine, the fox and the hunter. This is a very ironic tale about a hunter who tried to kill a fox. This happened back in 2011 in Belarus where a hunter seemingly had a fox dead to rights after he shot it. To confirm the kill, the hunter approached the fox and when he noticed it was alive, he tried to use the butt of his gun to finish it off. That's where things went very wrong, for the hunter at least. Even though it was shot, the fox sprang up and started to scrap with the hunter. Eventually, the fox got in a position where his paw ended up on the trigger of the gun, and the fox somehow managed to pull the trigger, shooting the hunter with his own gun. The hunter ended up in the hospital with a leg wound, and the fox escaped. This isn't the first time this has happened either. Supposedly, there are at least three incidents of dogs and cats unintentionally shooting off guns. Number 8. Don't mess with the crows. Birds are more intelligent than people give credit for, and when it comes to crows, they take it to another level. If a person taunts them, they'll actually remember them and their faces, and if they come back, they'll attack. So one day, some researchers went to an area filled with crows, caught them, put identification badges on them, and let them go. The crows didn't take kindly to that, and so when the researchers returned, they dive-bombed them. Wondering how far their memories would go, the researchers wore masks to hide their faces and continued to do their work, but the crows memorized them too, to the extent that they even taught their children somehow to attack people wearing these masks. This proves that a crow's memory isn't just long-lasting, it's generational. And now for a singer and a king cobra, but first, if you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe. And if you like these kinds of videos, be sure to check out World 5 List. Details are coming up. Number 7. The Cobra and the Pop Star In Indonesia, there was a pop star named Irma Buell. She was a talented singer and was known for giving some really impressive performances. To truly take her act to the next level, she used live snakes as props, which of course is always a risk. Even Britney said it was her biggest regret in life to have that albino Burmese python on her shoulders at the MTV Video Music Awards, but that might have been for other reasons. Anyway, in Indonesia, many girls learn to dance a type of music with snake-like moves. If you dance with a snake, you get paid more. Irma Buell was famous for using these snakes, and they weren't just all around her, but they were venomous. This mother of three used to dance with non-venomous pythons, but this time she took a chance. As she was doing her performance on stage, the snakes were slithering on the stage floor and she accidentally stepped on one. In particular, she stepped on a king cobra, which is one of the most venomous snakes in the world. Out of instinct, the king cobra bit Buell in the leg, venom instantly going into her system. All the more tragic was that there was anti-venom, but she refused to take it as she wanted to keep performing, as the story goes. She continued performing for 45 minutes until the venom finally took hold and she collapsed. As her father noted in an interview after the tragedy, there was no way to predict what happened, as Buell was very used to having snakes in her routine, but they were not usually poisonous, or they were often defanged. Many are now trying to raise awareness about the exploitation of young girls in Indonesia who come from poor backgrounds and try to get more audiences using skimpy clothes and deadly snakes. Number 6. Octopus with a Grudge This story takes place in an aquarium, one that happened to house an octopus named Truman. Now, it's important to state that octopuses are very intelligent creatures. Their bodies are incredibly flexible and they can fit into tiny spaces, and their memories are actually really sharp, which is a key point of this story. In the same aquarium that had Truman, there was a woman who volunteered at the facility. For whatever reason, Truman did not like this woman. So from within the confines of his home in the aquarium, he would shoot water at this lady. While this may not seem odd, it needs to be noted that Truman only shot water at this particular woman. 
I wonder what she did to make him so mad. And he continued to do this no matter when or where the lady showed up. If she arrived, Truman would strike. Eventually, the woman stopped coming. When she left, Truman became much more docile and did not shoot water at anyone else. But then one day, the lady came back for a visit, and when she did, Truman struck her with water without skipping a beat. Doesn't this sound familiar from Finding Dory? This is a true case of an octopus holding a grudge. Number 5. Don't Poke the Leopard Did you ever hear the phrase, don't poke the bear? For those who haven't, it means that you shouldn't provoke something that could have consequences if you do. But this doesn't just apply to bears, it applies to other animals as well, and in a very literal case here, a leopard. The place is Lake Nakuru National Park in Kenya. A leopard was harassing some local communities, so a park ranger was brought in to fetch the leopard and move it to a new location. The ranger did so, but upon bringing it to its new home, the leopard didn't want to leave the cage it was caught in. So fellow ranger Alexander Rono decided to poke the leopard with a stick from the cabin of the truck they were in to push it out. See, this is where patience is a virtue. It didn't go well for him. At first, the leopard just roared at the rangers, which should have been a hint, but Rono kept poking, and so the leopard left the cage and went straight for the cabin of the truck. The leopard actually jumped into the window area of the truck as Rono tried to roll it up, allowing the leopard to get part of its body inside. A massive battle ensued, but eventually Rono kicked the leopard out of the truck. However, the damage had been done. The leopard carved deeply into Rono's face, almost making him go blind. He required many stitches and admitted he won't ever forget what happened. The leopard probably won't either. Number 4. Polly Caught a Killer Kevin Butler from Texas was a very simple man. He had a home, a pet cockatoo, and was a huge NBA fan, so much so that he named his pet cockatoo after his favorite player, Larry Bird. Oh, the bird was named Bird, not Larry. Anyway, the two were living happily until one day in 2001, a duo of thieves entered the house and promptly attacked Butler and killed him. Somehow, Bird attacked the burglars and managed to get some hits in, but not enough to stop them. Enraged, the robbers killed Bird as well. Police arrived on the scene and witnessed the aftermath of what happened. As they looked for evidence to try and find out who did this, they noticed that Bird had something in his beak. Upon examining the contents, they were able to extract DNA of the assailants who killed Butler and Bird, and both thieves were convicted of robbery and murder and sentenced to life in prison. It's not hard to say that without Bird doing what it did, the killers may have never been caught. Number 3. Dog Eat Car World Here's a story that will teach you not to mess with stray dogs. For a man in Chongqing, China was going about his day when he came across a stray dog lying down in his parking spot. Instead of encouraging the dog to leave, the man straight up kicked him out of the spot so that he could park. What a jerk. You would think that the dog would react instantly and go after the car owner, but it didn't. Instead, it decided to call in some backup. And by backup, I mean his fellow stray dogs who promptly went to town on the car that was parked where the dog was resting before. It's important to note that a dog's bite strength is incredibly impressive. On average, it has about 268 pounds of force. Though they weren't able to rip the car to shreds per se, they were able to put some major dents into the metal fenders, rip off the windshield wipers, and cause all other kinds of damage and scratches to the vehicle, which the car owner likely didn't expect when he kicked the dog. The other irony here is that the man would not have found out about this attack, except that his neighbor heard the commotion going on outside. When she saw the dogs attacking the car, she decided to record it. The tale is now all over the internet, and hopefully people will think twice about being mean to animals. Number 2. Eye of the Tiger Tigers are a creature that are not meant to be messed with, but Russian poacher Vladimir Markov didn't seem to care. While out on a hunt, he found a Siberian tiger, or Amur tiger, which is the largest subspecies of tiger in the world. The tiger had apparently been hunting some prey and was eating it when Markov found him. He shot and wounded the tiger, but the tiger was able to get away. Markov then decided if he couldn't have the tiger, he would take the prey it had just killed instead. The tiger came back and saw the hunter taking his kill. So it did what any animal seeking revenge would do. It tracked Markov back to his house. A reminder, this is the wilderness of Russia, and the tiger was shot, which should have made it harder for it to track Markov, but it didn't. The tiger found the cabin that Markov was living in, but to its dismay, the poacher wasn't home. Furious and wanting payback, the tiger destroyed everything that had his scent on it and then waited for Markov by the door. As soon as he came home, the tiger pounced and got its revenge. 
Number one, elephants never forget. Many different species of elephants are in danger of extinction because of poachers who are making tons of money on the illegal sale of ivory. Elephants are now protected by numerous countries and foundations, but poachers will often ignore these laws and hunt down or poison these elephants to kill them and take their tusks. However, not all hunts are illegal and there are certain times of year where legal and authorized hunts are allowed with a permit. Elephants don't know the difference, and several have gotten revenge. An Argentinian man was hunting in a private wildlife area along with his guides when one of the elephant herd he was scouting spotted him. Upon seeing the man and or the gun, remember elephants are smart, the elephant alerted the herd and they charged. Before they were able to shoot, the hunter was trampled to death and everyone else fleed. If you're thinking this is an act of karma, you might be more right than you know, because this particular elephant was in fact the intended target that the group had set out to get. This is right after another hunter was killed in Zimbabwe, when his hunting group fired at some elephants who also charged at them. One of the elephants picked up the hunter with his trunk, when another hunter shot the elephant and it fell, crushing him to death. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these tales of animal revenge? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and check out World 5 List for more videos like these. I think you'd really like that channel. See you next time. Bye!